The third shock severity factor we're going to look at is the path that the current takes through the body. It's important to note that current will flow only if there is a complete path for it to follow. For example, if a person touches an energized conductor with one hand and another part of the same circuit with another part of his body, the person becomes part of the circuit. In other words, a complete path for current flow is provided and the person will receive a shock. The reason that the path current takes through a person's body can affect the severity of a shock is that some parts of the body are more vulnerable to the effects of current flow than others. For example, a relatively small amount of current flow through the heart is more dangerous than a larger amount of current flow that does not pass through the heart. In general, current will flow through all available paths but most of the current will flow through the path of least resistance.